Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to define a points and a success score for a quiz so that you are able to assess your trainees or collaborators from your LMS. To begin, I've created a quiz with five questions. These questions are made with multiple choices. True, false and matching. At the end, a slide summarizing the results is set up. To define points for a quiz, we must go on each slide in order to define them by question. I'm going to select the first one. Then, on the right-hand side, I click on the Properties button and on the Quiz tab sheet. In this panel, we have three important features to take into account for the points. The first one is the Type drop-down menu. It must be selected on Graded to define a point. If the Survey option is selected, it won't allow you to assign a point to your question. The second field is point. It's in this one that you enter the number of points that your learners will get if they answer to your question correctly. To enter a number, you just have to click in the field and type the point you want. For this example, I have defined the number to 20. At last, the third field is penalty. This field is used when you want to assign a negative point to users who won't answer to your question correctly. For example, if you enter 10, the user score will be subtracted of 10. Notice that you do not need to enter the minus sign in this field. The number entered will be automatically negative. But for this example, I let this field to 0. Now we have done this for this question, the process is the same for each question. We must select them one by one and define the number of points we want with a penalty score eventually. For my example, I have defined my 5 questions with 20 points, as you can see. With 5 questions and 20 points for each one, that means that the maximum score that a user can get for this quiz will be 100. Now that we have defined our points, how many points a user must get to succeed in this quiz? To define a success score, we select the quiz menu, quiz preferences, And in the quiz part, we select Pass or Fail. It's here in the Pass Fail options that we define a success score. Here we have two possibilities. Either we enter the success score in percentage or in points. It's up to you to define what you want, but for this example, I have defined it in percentage. I estimate that 80% is a success score for this quiz. Notice that you can also define the number of attempts that your users will be able to do if they fail. Now that I've defined my points by question and the success score, I'm going to check this quiz. Here, I'm going to perform two tests. In the first one, I'm going to give three wrong answers to check that I fail. In the second one, I only will give one wrong answer in order to succeed with a score of 80%. Let's begin by the first one. Here, I'm going to give three wrong answers.
In the results panel, we can see that I failed. That's normal. We can also see that my score is 40, with only two right answers that's correct, and that the maximum score of 100 that I could get is displayed. Everything is correct, and I'm going to perform the second test. I close this one. And I launch the second one. In this second test, the objective is to succeed in order to see if everything is correct in the final result panel. Here, I'm going to give one wrong answer only. I give the wrong answer here. I have finished. I can see now in the result panel that I've succeeded and that my score is 80. Therefore, everything works correctly. I close now the window to go back to Captivate. To summarize here, we've seen basic knowledge to define points for a quiz. and a success score. But don't forget to define your other settings for your quiz by using the settings panel. And the reporting panel if you want to put your quiz online within a learning management system. That's all. I hope you've learned something.